365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you in each day. Great is our God, written by Fernando Zavala. Come join us. Let's see what God has in store for you. Hello, friend. We're so glad that you joined us today as we begin a new month. Today is June 1st, 2022. Today's devotional is titled Seeing Possibilities. Our scripture for today is found in the book of Luke, chapter 19, verses 10. And it says, The Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Let us speak to our Creator. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to have this moment again with you. We ask, Lord, that you open our spiritual senses so that we can hear, feel, and understand your word today. We invite your Holy Spirit to be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What more could Freddie's parents do? They had already tried everything to save their son from a world of crime. What resources could they use to deliver him from the irresistible compulsion to steal? Mark Finley, a renowned author and international speaker, tells the following story. Freddie was only 10 years old and was already known for stealing from local stores. Meanwhile, his desperate parents had tried every possible option. Punishment, bribes, rewards, psychologists, all to no avail. Then they learned that Ms. Shaw, an elderly woman, might be able to help. It was said that this kindly woman had a wise way of dealing with problematic young people. So they spoke with her, and she agreed to help them. Freddie begrudgingly agreed to visit the elderly woman. When he knocked on her door, the first thing he saw was Mrs. Shaw's sweet face. Freddie, I'm so glad you're here, she said lovingly. Could you please go to the post office for me with this $100 bill and ask them to exchange it for smaller bills? Freddie could not believe his ears. Without having met him before, this woman was placing a hundred-dollar bill in his hands. No one had ever trusted him before. So without wasting any time, he hurried off to run the errand. He was back within 15 minutes, his face beaming with joy as he held the money in his hands. Not a single bill was missing. Finley says that the elderly woman's trust in Freddy was decisive in his transformation. He gave up petty theft accepted Christ as his Savior, and led others to the feet of Jesus. Should we be surprised by what happened in Freddy's life? Let's answer with another question. Why did so-called sinners feel so good in Jesus' presence? Because, as Ellen G. White affirms, in every human being, Christ discerned infinite possibilities, according to the book Education, chapter 8, page 80. In other words, he saw possibilities of redemption, regardless of how low a sinner had fallen. This means that, instead of seeing what sinners were at the moment, Jesus saw what they could become when transformed by his grace. That's why he not only earned their trust, but their hearts as well. That's why he was also called a friend of sinners, according to the book of Luke, chapter 7, verse 34. Now comes the most important question. Wasn't it precisely the possibilities that Jesus saw in you and in me? Before we saw him, he saw us. Before we loved him, he loved us. Before we accepted him, he accepted us. Isn't that wonderful? As we meditate in today's devotional, let us close with a prayer. Thank you, dear Jesus, for seeing in us what no one else ever saw, the possibility of redemption. Help us to live according to your will and to also see the possibilities in others as well. In your name we pray. Amen. We're glad that you joined us today for the devotional. We pray that it has been a blessing. Our prayer is that God blesses you, that his presence is with you throughout this day and that his love embraces you in every area of your life. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Bye.